But uh, but yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So back at it, back at it, uh, back at the Colt. Uh, <laughs> you know, swing uh, swing around. What 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 again? Um, being a, so you you decided to go back, but you didn't you didn't want to be a company driver. What is no. what is the percentage? Because I I notice a lot of people. Um, I notice a lot of people that left Prime, but a lot of people that went to Prime, they only stayed company there for like maybe a month, two months. Was you guys talked into doing the lease program or or was it like was it like a slow build up? Oh, well, I don't know cuz you know I never when I went to when I went there I never was a company driver anyway. I went straight straight lease to begin with. So but the it, percentage is 72%, but mm -hmm. from when I when I've been around in the training, they don't talk you into doing lease. They tell you to try company mm -hmm. and then switch over to lease because I would recommend that myself only because I would maybe six months, maybe to a year, mm -hmm. like at six months to a year at the most. And then you should switch over because it's like you just really need to learn how to manage your clock, how to manage your fuel, and mm -hmm. then from there, go. So, so in other words, in, in other words, Coming in as a company driver to pay their sucks. That's that's why majority of y'all going um, over the, going over the lease. I don't know. Well, I don't. I can't tell you what the cents per mile is because I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that bad. But I mean, I guess for me, and I guess if you if you're around a bunch of people who are doing lease and they steady showing you settlements. So you only making thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars a week as a company driver, which is not bad. Right. But you you seeing people settlements, they taking home thirty six hundred. You like, oh shit, that's what I want. Right, but that thirty, but you got to also understand you 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 you're responsible for a lot more than you know a lot more than just seeing that thirty six hundred dollar check. You know, true that. You know, but I mean, that's that. That's where they have to decide where they want to. You know, what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's a push. It's not a push. I don't think. I think it's more like you see, and then that's the other thing: the the ability to reject or turn down a load if you don't want to go to a certain area. With company, you can't reject or turn down a load. Okay, now let's let's talk about that for a second. Now, you guys, you know, being the lease drivers, because you know the 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 consensus between uh, company drivers and lease drivers, the, the the company driver says that they only get the bullshit loads because the lease drivers are getting all of the all the prime all the prime loads. Is is that true? I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not true, but what I do know is. Mm -hmm. If it's somebody, if it's something that we don't want to do, of course, you know, it's the company driver, they have no choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it is bullshit or isn't bullshit because I don't know that side. OK. But okay. I know for the most part, if a lease driver does not want to do it, if it's like I personally do not go northeast. Right. So my thing, is, I'll go to Pennsylvania, West Virginia. And of uh, Maryland, but about mm. from Virginia, all that shit. You what? You sending me back south? You say you say fuck all that. We 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 going. Yeah. <laughs> you say fuck all that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't play. <laughs> you say you ain't fucking with the Northeast, and I don't blame you. Not at all. I don't blame that's, you, man. That's my choice. Uh, and I, I had, don't a, blame I had a, you. my last dispatcher that I had before the one I have the the one that that I was mad at that was getting me the. The bullshit that was getting on my nerves. He, um, I think he had gave me a jersey load, and I told him I was like, well, you know, I told you initially I don't do northeast, mm -hmm. blah blah blah, and he's like, well, it's just right here, and I'm like, no, nah, okay, well, nah, you um, can't you talk know, me into it. I, I, that's and how, just, and that's what they yeah, do. They, they, they I'm try to talk now. you into it. Oh, it's, it just, it's only it a really, light load. honestly, it just, it just depends on who it is. Because mm -hmm. my dispatcher that I have now. When I first came back, um, they ended up sending me a, a load going to Jersey, and I called him. I said, hey, I forgot. I said, maybe my preferences 
aren't set in the computer, but you know, I, you, I don't go northeast. He was like, oh. And he was like, let me take that off you right now. Oh, okay. It, See, wait, no it ain't if, no question. No question. You know? No if, ands, or buts about it. But you got right. But you got dispatchers that's like hard ass, like, oh, it's right there. And and I, I will get you a, a, a better load. I'll get you a better load if you take this. No, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how it starts. It starts yeah, right and there. I, and I know, I know that's how it starts. And I'm one of them type of people. I say what I say. Nip that shit in I the say, bud. I be like, blah, you know what I'm saying? And even with, uh, like, I had a, I, when I worked at Snyder, I had a guy, he was on a regional account like I was. I was on regional. We were doing tankers. We were regional. Mm -hmm. They sent him a load going to Florida. And I told him, I said, don't take that load. I was like, you need to call in, say, hey, I'm regional, blah, blah, blah. I was like, don't take it. This mm -hmm. no, he took the load anyway. <laughs> so he ended up in Florida. Then he was in Georgia. Then they sent him up to uh, Pennsylvania, and then said, oh, we'll get you back down after this. I said, no. I said, see, that motherfucker was out for like a week and a half. He was up. He was mad. But well, who can you be mad at but yourself? Exactly. Exactly. Because you, the thing I feel like if you don't speak up for yourself, they're going to use you however they want to use you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you have your own, your own standard or your own thing, what you do or don't do, stick to your guns. So what about so now? Let me ask you about this though. Now is is there a stigma with the uh with the fleet managers that they they give you a load, they dispatch you a load, you call them up and you be like, nah, bro, I don't want that load. Then they give you another load that you don't want. Nah, bro, I don't want that load either. And then they get you. Then they you know they they feel that. No, we, you know, I try to get you a lot. Of, I try to get you this load, try to get you that load, but uh, you, you're gonna have to wait until I find the load that you want. Do they do that type of shit? No, no. I feel like um, I didn't have that type of issue. Only issue, only thing I would say is those nights and weekend dispatchers, because I had I, when I was doing my uh, second trainee. Mm -hmm. that I was coming from Florida and it was like they were trying to give me a load going all the way to the other side like it was south I mean it was west mm -hmm. west Seattle or west something with a S San Francisco mm -hmm. anyway some trying to send me from Florida way over there for like a dollar 29 a mile and I told her I was like nah I said I'm not gonna take that load I'll wait till my dispatcher come in and she said 10-4 all right that so <laughs> so now that you getting now that you're getting dispatched the loads, uh, and being that you just mentioned the amount, so do they tell you the amount as well as 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 the load too? Yeah, they tell you the amount, but uh, they tell you the amount, the cents per mile or whatever. You figure that up yourself. I usually, you know how it is. You get your your rate divided by your miles, and then there go your cents per mile. Mm -hmm. So you know. I just know when I looked at that rate and, and when I plugged it in, because before I accept anything, I get my, I, I find out how much it's paying per mile. I look at a number, like you can look at a number like, oh, that's a lot of money. It might be a lot of money, but if you got a lot of miles with it, you ain't made a lot of shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, any as a, if you're a business owner, you're doing certain things, you figure up your money first. Because mm -hmm. if it's not worth moving your truck, then don't move. What about what what about deadhead and uh detention and layovers? Do do they do they cover you guys for that too? How do that work? Yeah, yeah, you get paid for that too. It just depends on what the that company, the place that you're going to. Mm -hmm. Like when it's all in your details, it'll tell you like whether that company pays so much on detention cuz some of them will pay detention after an hour, after 2 hours and it'll tell you how much or whatever. So uh, usually, uh, once you leave the customer, sometimes once you once you uh, if you you know you put in your arrival and your departure or whatever, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, it'll figure up your detention already. By the time you close out your load, you can go back and look at your app, and it might show you already that the detention was added on, mm -hmm. and it'll show you what your rate is after the detention is added on. So it, it they the app that they have is pretty up to date and pretty um accurate and fast you know okay that's what's up that's what's up so as far as the truck goes you you you, you making the truck payment every every week right yeah uh yep, so deal. let me now let me ask you this is this a lease purchase no this one is the lease i'm still um wait i'm gonna get my truck probably in january 
Okay. I figured I would wait till after winter and then do it. So you going you you gonna go you gonna purchase it straight out or are you gonna do it through or are you gonna lease purchase option with Prime? No, oh, I'm damn, probably gonna Prime. purchase it straight out. Yeah, they didn't mean to say Prime. Yeah. It's okay. The coat. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I ain't, I ain't doing no tripping. So what's up, man? What's what's the okay? Let me let me tell you about my golden shower experience. Golden shower. Yeah, well, we had an R. Kelly moment. Let me tell you because oh. I had my nude. Remember, I was supposed to be telling you about my my student, the, right. the second trainee I had, right. which this, was the TNT student. This the TNT. All right, this the money student. Right. All right, go. Yeah. So. She had she had started off. I had to pick when I picked her up from Dallas. You know, she had told me that she was already with a prime trainer mm -hmm. that had put her off the truck after a week. Mm. So you know, I had already talked to her a couple of times, so I could already tell like she kind of like she was a little bit slow or something. Red you know how you kind of like somebody a little bit slow or something. But Big I'm old. like you know I try to give red what you saying. Big old red I know, okay, I know, go ahead. right? <laughs> so um. It was a couple of it was a couple of incidents, but I kind of had you know chalked it up to you know she just don't know how to drive or whatever you know she's still learning. Right. So you know the first week we were together, of course, you know I still was in the jump seat even though she had her CDL. I needed to see how she actually drive mm -hmm. because if somebody already put you off the truck, like something wrong, you know. So I didn't know she had already got put off of a truck already because I probably would have just said no, mm -hmm. just because like. Whatever was wrong, something was wrong. So now I don't want to either, you know. Right. But anyway, I, anyway, so we end up. So I'm in a jump seat. Mm -hmm. First little, first little incident, you know. I was already telling her about her speed on the highway and about watching signs and reading every single sign. Mm -hmm. So you know, I was having her read out signs while we go and read out. I was, and she's like, well, I don't know what. I, well, I can't see. I was like, well, what? You wear glasses? And she was like, yeah. Uh, baby, why are you driving this truck and got your glasses on, honey? Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, okay, okay, let me put my glasses on. It, what? So a couple, up a couple of times, she get in the seat and she ain't got her glasses on. Now, I said, now, the last time she did it, I said, look, when you get back in this driver's seat, do not get in this seat without them glasses on your face. Right. You're not driving the I car, had to, Right, and I had to go get her glasses, and she oh she was trying to read. Oh, I can't see that, baby. I said, look, you need to be able to see everything. So you know, I gave her glasses the first couple of times. Last, look, don't you get back in this seat without the motherfuckers on your face. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get in this seat. Period. Like, you're not even supposed to be driving if you ain't got your glasses on, cause you can't see. Right. So you know, okay, finally she wearing her glasses. So we were in Utah. And you know we coming up on we we were going on to 215, so it's like a little uh it's a it's a ramp you go up on the ramp anyway. So right before the ramp it say slow down 40 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. We still going like 60. I said say what that sign say. She's like oh I don't know. I said it says slow down to 40. So slow the truck down, slow us down. You know right. we getting up on the ramp. I'm like slow us down some more. Right. So the people are coming up on the other, on the right side there's like an entrance ramp right up on the bridge mm -hmm. so it's a couple of people that shot on you know and i was like just slow down and let them go ahead you know right so another truck another car just shot up shot up like right as we were going past and she just switched lanes all of a sudden i was like oh lord she was like well they just came up here and i said it don't matter they were in the wrong, so they would have to stop. You know what I'm saying? I said, right. if that motherfucker shoot up on there, you pin that bitch to the wall. Don't you just switch lanes right. without uh without, without your looking? Blink, I said, or, or without looking or she without didn't, your blinkers. She did not. She didn't put on a signal. She didn't look. I didn't see her head move. She just moved, went over. I was like, oh shit! Like I was like, girl, if somebody was over oh, there, and yeah, you, you could have like put that, them into the wall. Yeah. I was like, I said you would be you would have been in the wrong. Right. You didn't signal, you didn't look, you just merged on them. Right. I said this person is shooting up from an entrance ramp. There you have the right of way. Exactly. So basic you know what I'm saying? I, like she didn't even know the basic like you know the the car with the little squiggly lines behind it. What do that mean? Oh, you asking me? Oh, like, uh, yeah, slippery? like when you see the little like, yellow, slippery this, when this wet girl or some said shit? I said I say, did you see that sign? She said yeah, that means we're gonna come up to a couple of curves. I say, what? I said, no, nah, that means slippery when wet. It's raining. Slow us down. She, oh, 
And then I was like, you know how this basic shit, basic, real basic. I'm like, oh shit, she don't even know what the fuck the signs say. So you so you, then, begin, you you begin man, to learn real fast the reason why she got kicked off the first truck. Exactly. So we went from Utah down to Arizona. Mm-hmm. Have you been through that little mountain pass through there going down into Phoenix where it's just 18 miles of grades? What's that, Donner's Pass or some shit like that? I don't, I don't know. know. Donner's, Donner's Pass is in California. Oh, okay. Then I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I hear I, I hear about all them fucking grades. I don't want to fuck with that. Say, <laughs> man, I was over there. Baby, when I say I was tight, I was in that whole tight. I was <laughs> shit. We were going down. <laughs> so we, but we were going from Utah. We were going into Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going down. We had already went through some uh, through a little pass, and so now we mm. were like passing, like we were coming up from Bryce Canyon or something. I forgot what it was. Right. But right now we we was on the straightaway. So she, we on the straightaway. She's still going like 45, 50 miles per hour. I was like, hey, I said, you remember how I discussed with you about your speed? I said, you gonna have to get this truck up to speed. I said, because you gonna make it dangerous for us in a minute. And she was like, well, I'm, well uh, I said, look, the mountain's way over there. We on a straightaway. It's supposed to be 65. Right. And no sooner than I said that, a truck tried to pass us on the right, and we on a two-lane highway. Mm. So truck's trying to pass us on the right. So I had already told her to get her speed up. So she got her foot on the gas, and she's steady going. Mm-hmm. Now there are cars coming from the opposite direction headed towards the person who's trying to pass us. Mm. I said, hey, take your foot off the gas and let him pass. Now he over there and I said, say, take your foot off and let him pass. She did not. She said it. I almost lost my shit. And then she, so the motherfucker, so the cars on the other side are so close to the truck. And I was like, slow, slow down. And so the he started merging on us, you know, right. he put that trailer on. Right. So the trailer almost finna hit the front of the truck. She gonna start going towards the ditch. I said, "Don't you put us in that motherfucking ditch. Keep us on this road and slow the fuck down." Oh <laughs> my god! Piss me god. off. She piss me off. I said, "You better not put us in this motherfucking ditch. Slow the fuck down. Shit. Fuck, let that bitch go." Wow. She almost got us ran off the fucking road. I was mad. She's talking about what he wrote. I said, "No, that's your fault. You're going too slow on a highway. This is a highway." I told you already, you were going to make it dangerous for all of us. I said, he almost hit the oncoming traffic. Mm-hmm. He almost hit us. Mm-hmm. And so if he would have hit it, he would have shut this whole highway down because you didn't slow down and just let him go. Exactly. Just take your foot off the gas. How simple it is. She told me, it's his fault. No, it's your fault at this point. It was your fault because you were going too goddamn slow. Now you put us all in a dangerous situation. So what are, what are we doing here? And then at that point, didn't nobody win. We all did or some shit, you know? Right. So I'm like, come on, you gotta think past too. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Think about it and just, you know what I'm saying? It's not worth. Are oh, we finna speed next time? What kind of dumb shit is that? Let that motherfucker go. I, I don't like playing chicken. So, <laughs> all this is going on. Are uh, afterwards? Are are you still letting her drive, or where where are we at now? Yeah, yeah. I I, I kept her in the driver's seat because we was finna come back. Because this is the thing. Mm-hmm. I would have took her out. But it's a it's a learning it's right. a learning situation. Right. So if I bail you out every time, you're not gonna learn nothing. So like one of the mountain paths, like the first time when we were going into Utah, I drove. Mm-hmm. But when I was driving, she was over there and she picked her phone up. She on her phone. I said, No, nah, honey, no, no, it's no, a learning no. situation. This is learning, right? You, I, yeah, I don't I said, get that. So, don't don't be on your phone. This exactly. is the same thing for the trainer and trainee. Because when exactly. I was driving, when I was trained, when I was being trained and I was driving, dude picked up his phone. And I'm looking at him like, so five mm-hmm. questions, you gonna you you gonna be spot on or whatever, right? Right. Because oh, if he's not oh, paying you attention it. to what you you're doing, you, no. You got no. it. Nah, bruh. Nah, nah. I, I don't think I got it, my G. I, I, I need you to. Yeah. But I see, need that's, you to stay that's, focused. But that's what they're supposed to do. You're not supposed to be on your phone. They're not supposed to be on their phone. Mm. So she, she pulled up. So I told her to put her phone down because mm. I was showing. I'm like, I'm going to show you because once we, we were going into Utah, I'm going to show you how you're supposed to do to put yourself down, all that shit. So when we come in out, it's going to be your turn. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you need to be paying attention. Mm-hmm. She, okay. 
kind of had an attitude. She'd be all right. So anyway, that's, so after she, after she almost got us ran off the road, mm-hmm. she still I still end up letting her keep driving because, like I said, it's a learning situation. Right. So we got finished with all that. So the the other incident, we um we were in California, mm-hmm. and um once we left Arizona, once we left Phoenix, we went to California. Mm-hmm. Low going to California, uh, you know, we got there, and I had already, I don't know how people do, but, like, for me, I don't get out the truck at night. Like, if it's real dark or whatever, or if I'm not parked close to a fuel island or if it's a long walk or something, I don't get out of my truck, so I have a pee jar. Right. So I had bought her one because I asked her, you know, I said, it, it, this is not a mandatory thing. Like I said, if you want to go to the restroom, feel free. And if I need to stop, you, you know what I'm saying, go to the restroom, whatever, cool. Mm-hmm. I said, but at night, I don't get out the truck like that. Okay. So, you know, let me know, you know, whatever you want to do. She was like, no, I want one of those. I said, okay, so I bought okay. her one. Okay, okay. So, you know, cool. I ain't got no problem. So, you know, I had because she had got, like, some cups out the store. She got them big cups, and she was, like, peeing in a cup and left it up on my top bunk. I said, yeah, that's not that's not going to work, baby. Oh, you can't do that. She was like, uh, well, I peed in the cup. and Oh, she was like, oh, I forgot the cup. I said, like, bitch, you don't get that cup. Oh, let this pee spill in my truck. That's nasty. I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. You know? So when we got to California, we were there for like, we were there for like a day or something. And the load we were going to pick up, we didn't, we were supposed to drop it like three o'clock and pick up the next one. Mm-hmm. So we had a couple of hours in between. So I'm like, you know, go ahead and go to the restroom, whatever, whatever, and, yeah, and wash your clothes and whatnot. Yeah, whatever. Wash your clothes. Gotcha. Woo, woo, woo. So she go up to the top bunk, mm-hmm. and she starts stripping all the sheets off, all the blankets. Now, the night before, I was sleeping, and I thought I heard I thought I thought heard her opening up pads or something like that. You know, women have cycles. I, I thought she was. But she, when she came on the truck, she had a bunch of diapers and a bunch of those uh, like poise pads and stuff that you know that you use like how, if you pee or something. How 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 old is this chick? She forty seven. Oh okay, so she got depends. That's that's what they're so called. I'm, I'm thinking right, right, but she and it's, it's some little pads that you use that women use that have bladder leaks or something. They're yeah, called poise yeah, pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they like you know, they you, know big. you know, adult diapers. Yeah. You know, they, they you know yeah, yeah. men men she men have that types. shit too. Yeah, she had both types. Oh. So I thought I heard like a bunch of those opening or some shit. Like, you know, I had turned over and I thought I heard a bunch of wrestling and stuff. But, you know, I was like, the oh, fuck? Okay. But I rolled up and went back to sleep. Okay. You know, I don't know what the hell she doing up there. You know, I ain't trying. I ain't finna be. You ain't trying to be nosy. What right. Going on. right. Yeah, no thanks. So, you know, I just went on, rolled over. I go back to sleep. So the next day, you know, we had all that time. I was like, well, let's wash clothes. Boop, boop, boop. Mm-hmm. She was a sheep. And all the stuff, and I was thinking, she she only been here three, four days. What the fuck she doing? Okay. Like you know. So then when I thought about it, I said, this bitch probably was up there peeing on that motherfucking bed. And I was I, I was telling myself like, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say wow. nothing. Wow. Look, I can't hold it. I had to say some shit. So when she get down with all her stuff, I was like, uh, damn, what's going on? I said, I hope you ain't up there uh peeing and shit, cause I had already told you, don't be peeing on my top bunk, cause when you're not in this truck. And, my, and it's just me and my kids. I sleep up there. Like when my kids were like, my daughter had came with me one time, and my daughter and my son was with me. But usually, like if my baby, my son with me, uh-huh. uh huh, uh, he sleep on the bottom bunk, and I just sleep up on the top. So when I got to get up and go, I don't have to keep moving him up and down, up and down. Right. So I get my big ass. I get my big ass up there and go to sleep. Okay. So. I was like, don't be up there peeing on my bed because I already told you, like this is my shit. I don't, you know. She was like, oh, well, um, I just had some, some, some. I said, that's what this thing right here for. No, oh, please my. don't do that. Oh, wait. So she oh my God. up there all so over she, again. So, wait. So she opened up the Depends, laid them all out on the mattress. I don't know. But and, I ain't gonna, you can, and, that was the assumption I was coming to, but oh, I don't know. Oh, Okay. Okay, because that sounds like that's the, imagine, ass- you that's, on the the assumption, that's the assumption I'm coming to. You you spread all the, the pin shit all over the mattress and then all of a sudden like when you got a pin you just you just let it rip. Like bro, like sis, like I you hope not. you sleeping in that shit? 
And that's what that's what I was kind of like, like. What the fuck is she doing? You know. I, but I'm not sure what happens. I ain't on. But I'm just saying, when we got up, the, she wrapped up all them sheets. And I was like, what the fuck? So I, I was like, I'm going to say something. I was like, um, don't do that. I already told you. Like, don't do that shit. And all so right. she go up there, grab grab a cup of pee from the top. I was so motherfucking mad. I was like, say, this did, bitch is gross. Did, 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 <laughs> did, when she went in there to, to, to wash the sheets and everything, did you, did you check the mattress? Uh, No, I did not. But this, a- but um, what you, I'm saying, a- these after are you, this a vinyl. L- listen, if, after you got her off the truck, did you change the mattress? Yeah, I had to get a new mattress because oh, that's not okay. even the last straw, fool. Hold on, oh, gotta get oh, to damn. the rest of the shit. Oh damn it! Okay, <laughs> here we go. Gotta get to the rest of the shit. Okay, so you know, I kind of was like, so we we in left California, we get a load going all the way to Florida, mm-hmm. but we was gonna pass through Texas. Now she had already tried to quit on me one time, and I and I kind of had talked her down off the ledge. I was like, "Hey, I said this is what it is. This is trucking. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, if you quit now, all you gonna do is get back on somebody else's truck or do something else. And are you gonna quit again or are you gonna start over again? You know, that's crazy. Right. So if this is what you wanted to do, this is your dream. This is just the rough patch of it. And she was like, "Well, I'm not getting it. I said you've only been on the truck for a week." So, you know, I said, we're going to go ahead and thug it out. She was like, well, I'm not ready to drive on my own, and I'm upsetting you. I, don't me because my face ain't going to never be right. If you always looking at my face and looking for approval, you're not going to get it because my face is my face. Like, this don't, this ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? I smile and talk, but, like, at the same time, I'm just, I have a stoic look on my face. It's just a flat-ass, resting bitch face, whatever you want to call it. Right. You know, I don't, I don't. So if you're looking at me thinking, oh, she's mad, I'm not even thinking about you. Like my head could be somewhere else, mm-hmm. you know. So I was like, so let's just go ahead and do it. So you know, so we were gonna go, we were gonna roll through Texas. So instead of going down ten, you know, I came up and I I came down twenty because I was gonna stop at home. Okay. You know, so I told her, you know, we gonna stop, we gonna stop in Texas. My daughter gonna come pick us up and run us to Walmart. And um, after we run to Walmart or whatever, get something to eat, and we're going to hop back on the road and keep it pushing. Right. So we get to Texas, and she had a little attitude. She was like, well, I'm just going to go home. I said, um, first, she wanted to go home, but where she lived versus where I was stopping, mm-hmm. it's like 45 minutes to an hour on the other side of town. And when we got to Dallas, it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. It's rush hour. Okay. So I was like. We're not, I was like, my daughter not going to take you all the way over there. We're not right. going way over there because right. we're going to be stuck in traffic. We're not doing that. I said, we're going to stop. We're going we're gonna to go to Walmart. Mm-hmm. We're going to get something to eat, whatever. But if you need to run and pay a bill or something that you can do at somewhere close, we'll go do that. But other yeah, than that, we're going to get back on the road. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, no, I'm just staying in the truck. I was like, cool. We got a two-hour window. Mm-hmm. Six o'clock, this truck rolling. With okay. or without you. As long as you know. Six o'clock. We so gone. my daughter can yeah, my daughter came and picked me up. Right. Put pushing a big dooley. My daughter came and picked me up. Mm-hmm. So uh we ran to the store, came back. I came back, she had all her shit packed up. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I said, What are we doing? And she was like, Well, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not getting it and da 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 da. And I'm I'm just gonna go home for a little while and I'm gonna come back. I said, baby, the the, win- the window was a two hour window. Right. It's almost six o'clock now. Right. I said so. I had I already called my dispatcher because I already had a feeling. I thought she was gonna be gone before I got back. Okay. I had already called my dispatcher and told her I'm like, well, she like the first time I talked her down. Mm-hmm. This time I'm gonna let you jump. That what you wanna do? Cause I'm not really one of them type of people. I'm pep talking you and I'm not a pep talker. It's not my shit. <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna pep talk you. You're I'm not good. a pep like, rally. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fucking cheerleader. What the fuck I look like? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like you the player. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just you the athlete. Ath- like, you know, you, you the athlete. You're you're not the cheerleader. Yeah. You the athlete. Yeah, never was a cheerleader. So I'm she kinda like you know. So but she, when I got back, she had all her stuff packed. So she so she had all her stuff packed and, and all her shit packed. And just said, and just said, fuck it. Now at this time, she still had her CDL. I mean, she's a licensed she's consumer. A licensed she's a licensed 
driver. And see, right. this goes back to what I was saying earlier about I don't think it's the trainer – 